Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the weekly love forecast, the mini forecast for the Sagittarius for April the 25th, beginning April the 25th and ending May the 1st. Alright, so this is, I'm going to make this one a five card spread, but I'm going to try to get through it quickly um, so that you're just not sitting here all day because this is just for the week coming up. All right, so we're going to look at current, what's going on currently in the love life. Kind of messy a little bit. The spirits are a little unsteady and a bunch of cards just flew out. Okay, so some messy stuff going on for some of you Sagittariuses. We're going to look at current, what's happened in the past, and uh, what you can look forward to next week. And then there will also be, be an extra card. So... It's a little, I don't know, I'm sensing something already from the cards because I can tell when I'm shuffling, you know, um, kind of what I'm going to see. All right, so... All right, so currently you got the King of Pentacles. So this is a very good energy. I mean, first of all, the pentacle, um, when you look at the pentagram itself, this represents spirit, fire, air, earth, water, energy. Fire, air, water, earth, fire, air. Yeah, I got all four of them. And so this can be a literal person for some of you Sagittariuses. This could stand for a literal person in your life. Um, or it could be you. It could be just the current energies around you. If you're single, this could be somebody that's going to be coming into your life. And this person is going to be financially secure and stable. And he's going to have the ability to hold on to not only his, his uh, women um, or vice versa. If, if you're a man and you're watching this. Um, she'll be able to hold on. This is the wisdom in possessing things. Um, so this person knows how to hold on to money, um, knows how to be stable, and also knows how to hold on to their uh, significant other. So that's a really good card to get. I love getting the king or the queen of pentacles in any reading. Um, now in the past, you got the queen of pentacles. So isn't that amazing? They're right next to each other. Queen of Pentacles knows how to, um, not only is she the mothering type, and so is the King of Pentacles, um, but she is also very fertile. She knows how to manifest. So she knows how to use the elements, just like the King, who she sits next to. You know, she knows how to manifest things and she knows how to hold on to the things that she manifests she doesn't just lose everything and in the you know description of the card in the deviant moon tarot i hope my kid doesn't act up <laughs> queen of pentacles the gracious queen revels in her luxurious lifestyle however she is somewhat detached from the needs of her people she shows her royal pentacle to an audience of dolls, mistakenly believing that society will benefit from this act of misplaced charity. So this is about luxury, affluence, charity, generosity. But in the traditional tarot, okay, um, this is a very um, stable mother figure. And even though in the in the description it says that they're dolls, you know, the Queen of Pentacles still represents motherhood and femininity. So, and using feminine power for that. Now, what's crossing? Jacob, can you take them downstairs, please? Sorry, guys. Yeah, let me go ahead and finish this one out. Yeah. Yeah, give him a. Did, did you? Did he already eat his cookie? Okay. What's crossing the Queen of Pentacles in the past, and again, this is another literal person. It could be you. It could be someone in your life. 
Uh, what you have crossing her is the Nine of Wands. So, Wands being about identity, being about self. Um, it's about, you know, morals or whatever. The Nine of Wands is someone that in the past they were going through a very dark period and they take a, a break and rest is what the nine is because they're almost at the finish line they've almost gotten through whatever it is so and, and that's what the nine of wands I'll read you the definition trapped in an underground maze the masked lady searches for a way out resting upon a ledge he considers or he or she considers giving in to his seemingly hopeless situation eight wands mark the path to a possible exit a ninth wand ignites his resolve to not give up so this is stopping to ponder during a challenging event and this is a pause so you recently went through this but there's hope in that pause um Your future is another wand, which is the 10. So it's really interesting that you found your way out of that, out of that underground maze. You found your way out of it. And your future card is the 10. So if you're already involved with someone, the dark period that you have been through um, is over. And so next week, what you can look forward to um is overcoming whatever struggle you know that that was and it's an indication of a struggle of a burden but you overcome that burden and that's a really good step up and then also in the future you got the hierophant so the hierophant is all about doing the right thing and um, so for you to get this card means that there's a major event coming up for a lot of you um this could be your partner this could be you if you're single the hierophant could mean that you are going to meet someone that could possibly either act like they're older than you or they could be older than you okay or this could be you because the wands is a fire energy anyway. So this represents you anyway. This represents your uh, resilience anyway. And so as far as with love, I can see for some of you Sagittarius is you're going to be overcoming this dark period. And I believe that it's, it's you being able to understand and balance what money means and what, loves mean, what love means and being able to decipher the difference but then also embracing what you have and being thankful and that and I, I believe that's what the hierophant is bringing to this reading um not only that this is this points to a traditional romance so if you're single whatever struggles you went through the 10 you're overcoming in the future so this will be next week and then the hierophant This is a traditional romance. So this is you learning to conduct, learning the lesson to conduct yourself in whatever way someone in your shoes is expected to be. So if you consider yourself to be a queen, you're going to behave like a queen. If you consider yourself to be, you know, and I mean, there's all different sorts of queens. We got the queen of swords. The queen of swords will cut you down mentally. The uh, Queen of Wands, she will make you look at yourself. The Queen of Cups, she is going to teach you the value of, of your emotions and, and how they enrich your life. And there's one more. Queen of... What is it? <laughs> Wands pentacles queen of pentacles she has the she teaches you how when you get to her level she teaches you not how to not only get a man 
but how to hold on to one and then also holding on to money so that's real important and then so with this hierophant coming up in the future um this is letting you know next week do not buck the system i mean if you're gonna it, it i mean it hey i'm I can sometimes, you know, uh, I mean, we're all, nobody's perfect. Nobody's a robot. You know, I mean, we all have our emotions and our ways, you know. Um, but I think that there's a time and a place for it. You know, sometimes, especially when you're just meeting someone, you don't want to put all of that on a person that you just met at once you want to slowly work you know work through those you know issues <clears throat> not only that the hierophant is about spirituality and it's about um, and, and it's everything from traditional religion to earth-centered spirituality or any other spiritual notion that you can conceive of um, so this can indicate there may be tension between your idea of spirituality and the right thing and the ideas of others around you. So this is probably, um, you know, I could see the traditional system going against the earth centered spirituality that a lot of people prefer. Um, but, you know, I mean, so this is something of you. Um, this card just says it doesn't say. Okay, completely go against your beliefs. No, it's saying stand up for your own beliefs. The rules and the system of doing things are probably playing a major role now. Rituals of any sort will be helpful to you now, even if it's just a movie with friends every third Saturday. So, it, and also there's, I can sense that there's some sort of teacher or mentor. And that person may appear next week. Um, for some of you Sagittarius okay and this is in terms of work this is somebody that's very important um, that can really 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 teach you and um, and they can actually lead you in a very positive direction um, it just has to be worked out in a way to where you know everybody goes by everybody's rules and just you know be respectful whatever but I can definitely see that and it's this person is older and is of and and has a lot of influence also and is this person gonna have an effect on your love life yes they are um, you might end up dating this person or something whoever it is that they're uh, VIP so um, especially with the King of Pentacles coming up. So this was like a really, um, if you could see the cards, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm sorry that you can't see them. I promise I'll let you see the cards during your full reading um, for May. So anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe for my 3,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. Uh, you have to be a subscriber. And I'll be making a video about that a little bit later. Um, so I think that the theme for the Sagittarius this week is going to be, um, you know, balancing tradition and new age beliefs or something. I don't know, you know, um, ro traditional romance maybe is what I'm seeing because, you know, I think that's something that a lot of people want, but they are somewhat afraid you know to get it which is why this nine of wands came up in the past because the wands is about discovering yourself like learning who you are but not just self not just your perception but also your belief system your morals and values you know what i'm saying so anyway thank you so much for watching make sure you thumbs up this video and I'll see you guys for your next reading. Bye.